Hi, let's discuss example 8 syntax tree construction. I already discussed 7 examples of HTT. This is the 8th one. In previous lecture, I also discussed syntax tree construction with another grammar. There it was a left recursive grammar. Now I will discuss syntax tree construction from the same grammar after removal of left recursion. Some production with semantic rules are given. E derived T E dash E node equal to E dash S Y N that is for synthesized. So it is saying this E node is synthesized from E dash node. Then E dash inherited from T node. So this E dash is inherited from its left sibling. T is its left sibling. So E dash inherited from T node. Then E dash derive plus T E1 dash. This E1 is for children. So E1 dash inherited from new node plus E dash inherited T node. That I already discussed in previous lecture. This new node is for creating a node. And E dash synthesized equal to E1 dash synthesized. So this E dash node is synthesized from E1 dash node. One attribute can synthesize from its children. Next production E dash derived minus T E1 dash. Here E1 dash inherited from new node minus E dash inherited and T node. Then E dash synthesized from E1 dash synthesized. So this parent synthesized from its children. Next E dash derived epsilon. So E dash synthesized equal to E1 dash inherited. From inherited, it is synthesized. Next production, T derive start bracket E end bracket T node equal to E node. Next T derive ID, T node equal to new leaf ID, ID value. Here it will create a leaf. This new node will create an interior node. This new leaf will create a leaf. I already discussed this thing in previous lecture. Just go through that lecture first, then come to this lecture. Here I and S that stands for inherited and S, Y, N that stands for synthesized. Now identify the STT, whether it is S attributed or L attributed. It contains both synthesized and inherited attribute. And this inherited attribute inherit from its left sibling. As it is inheriting from its left sibling, so it is a L attributed STT. For L attributed STT, attribute can be synthesized or inherited with restriction. It can inherit from its parent or left sibling. I already discussed S attributed STT and L attributed STT. Just go through that lecture. Same example I used in previous lecture. So first we will derive A minus B plus C means I will derive ID minus ID plus ID from this grammar. Then we will evaluate the semantic rule. So from E we will derive T E dash. I am doing the leftmost derivation. So from T I will derive ID. Now I got this ID. Next I need to derive minus ID plus ID. So from this E dash, I will choose this production. From E dash, I will derive minus T E1 dash or you can write E dash. E1 is just to identify children. It is same as E dash. Then from T, I will derive ID. Now I got ID minus ID. Next, I need to derive plus ID. So next from this E dash, I will derive plus T E dash. Then from this T, I will derive ID. Now I got ID minus ID plus ID. So next from this E dash, I will derive epsilon. Now derivation tree is done for A minus B plus C. For this ID lexical value is A. For this ID lexical value is B. For this ID lexical value is C. Next, we need to execute the semantic action on this parse tree. So how will execute? It is a L attributed STT. In L attributed STT, we evaluate in top down approach or pre order or during the depth first search. And in S attributed STT, we evaluate in bottom up during the reduction or post order traversal. Let me evaluate in pre order. Pre order is traversing route. 
then left, then right. So I will traverse from root. This E is depend on its E dash. Here it is written E node equal to E dash synthesized. Means this E node is synthesized from E dash. So before evaluating E, we should evaluate E dash. So we should evaluate the node on which it depends. That first will evaluate, then we will evaluate this node. And this E dash is inherited from T node. So before evaluating E dash, we should evaluate T as this E dash is inherited from T. So we will start evaluating from ID. Here it is 1. Then from ID, we will traverse T. And here, what is the semantic rule? New leaf ID, ID value. So here we will create a new node having ID and ID value is A. So now T contain this node. After T, we will visit E dash as E dash inherited from T node. So this will be 3 and this is inherited from T node. So now this will also be E dash. Then here also same, this E dash is depend on its child E dash. Here you can see E dash is synthesized from its child and this E dash is inherited from T. So before E dash, we should evaluate T. So we'll evaluate ID first. This will be 4. Then from ID, we'll traverse T. That will create a new node ID with logical value B. Next, E dash will inherit from T node. So this will be T also. This will be E dash as E dash inherit from T. Next, we'll evaluate this ID. It will be 7. I am writing the number just to understand in which way I am evaluating the sequence of evaluation. Then I will visit its parent. Here I will create a node. New leaf id id value. So id and lexical value will be c. This will be t. Now e dash will inherit from t. So this will be also e dash. And just I am writing i. i is for inherit. So this is E dash inherit. So next visit child of E dash. Child of E dash is epsilon. And your semantic rule is E dash synthesized from E1 dash inherited. Means this node will synthesize from itself. So now it will be E dash synthesized. Before it was inherited, now it is synthesized. Next will traverse its parent. For this, the semantic rule here, it will create a new node plus E dash synthesized from E1 dash. Now this E dash will synthesize from its children. This is our E1, this is E dash. So it will be step 11 and it will synthesize from its children and it will also create a new node plus and it have two another field. One child will be E dash inherited and another child will be T node. So one child will be E dash inherited here. This is E dash inherited from this. So this is E dash inherited plus another child will be T node. So from this we will create two child. One is E dash inherited that is inherited from T. Here it is E dash inherited and another T node. Next we will traverse its parent. Here also it synthesized from its child. Now this will be E1. Let this be E1 dash. Now E dash will synthesize from E1 dash and it also create a new node having two children. One is E dash inherited, another is T node. So now it will create a new node minus and it have one children E dash inherited. So for this E dash inherited is this. It inherited from T. So one children will be IDA and another children will be plus now we constructed the syntax tree. Here it is minus a, then plus here b and c. So we'll evaluate plus first, then we'll evaluate minus. According to this grammar, we got this syntax tree. And if we'll see, this is not post order traversal, neither pre order traversal. We evaluate according to dependency. First, we evaluate all the inherited attribute, then we evaluate all the synthesized attribute. As E dash is inheriting from T node, so before E dash, we evaluate T node. 
it is just according to dependency first we evaluate the node on which it is depend so this e dash is depend on t that's why first we evaluate t then e dash here also this e dash is depend on t so first we evaluate t then e dash in next lecture i'll discuss some more example of htt if this lecture is helpful for you please like and subscribe thank you